Hi guys, we are doing the 10A part two notes example number two, okay? Just like example number one, we are asked to set up each trig ratio, okay? Now those trig ratios, like we talked about with example number one, we remember by that term so Katoa. If you have not watched the trig introduction video, please stop this video and go do that now. That helps you remember what we learned about our trig identities, okay? The trig identities or the trig ratios, okay? And when we're asked to set those up, we're asked to show what sine of theta is, cosine of theta, and tan of theta. Those are those trig identities or trig ratios, okay? So definitely go back and review the introduction to 10A part two notes if you haven't already uh, learned that. All right, so just like we have done in the past, the very first thing that we need to do is that we need to go ahead and label our triangle, okay? So we always want to do that with respect to theta. So you want to identify which angle is theta. That's your big first step. Which, which angle is theta, okay? Because the way that we're going to label everything is going to be based on where is this angle? Where is it, okay? So when we label it, we're first going to say, well, all the time, no matter what we're doing, this long diagonal opposite that 90 degree angle, that's our hypotenuse. We'll label that with a capital H. The side touching theta between the hypotenuse, where theta is between the hypotenuse and another side, that other side that's actually touching theta is always the adjacent side. Then all the way across that side not touching theta is our opposite side, okay? So then when we give our trig ratios, or our trig identities, we remember that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite here is 3. Hypotenuse is 5. Our cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent being 4. Hypotenuse being 5. My 4 doesn't look very 4-like, so I'm going to fix that. Tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. Opposite side is 3. Adjacent side, side is 4. Simple as that, guys. That's how we do example number 2 from our 10A part 2 notes. Thanks for watching, guys.